Hello and welcome back, my white and creamy friends. Never mind. Sesh B here, and this is the engineer. N -n 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 okay, I messed spelling that up, but uh, oh gosh, oh oh god, they can't do pluses either. All right, engineer chips. That's what we're playing today. Uh, first uh, thing we have to ask ourselves is if we're playing an advanced map, what advanced map should we play? And I'll be honest with y'all, I think there's only a couple that you can pick from, and I think another brick's gonna be our easiest, mostly because thinking long term, extra extra large trap, being able to throw from here to here is gonna be pretty clutch. As far as heroes go, if we can do an engineer start, which I'm not sure that we can, we can do any hero we want. Otherwise, we do need to go for a starting hero, which will probably cause chaos for us. So let's get started. All right, engineer start, how we looking here? Hmm. Hmm. There's really nothing I can do about that. I can get like super duper duper close here with some crazy micro. We do three shots. We try to switch to first and we try to snipe, but I can't quite get it right. Woo! We got through the green balloons. That that does not mean we are going to beat the rest of this round. Oh, no, it's not going to mean the rest of the round here at all. Oh, and that is really, really, really close too. But I... I just don't think it's possible. Starting hero change, and unfortunately, I believe that the only hero that we can start off with on this map is Sada. I think that Quincy might be able to do it, but even so, I think Sada's going to be a better long-term player for us. We do get a lot of experience with Sada here, so uh, that's what we're going to try for. It is really, really unfortunate. We got so close. I tried like 10 times with the Engineer, but I could not manage to do it by myself, unfortunately. But, you know what? Getting a hero... Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, I guess we're going to do an engineer cleanup error for now in a kind of weird spot and what i want to do is eventually i want to get the uh uh balloon trap here and with the balloon trap i'm really hoping that the balloon trap can throw over the wall and get over here and that might require us to get the larger surface area but that is also important for us because we want to make sure that we can throw this guy wherever we want to whether it's here or all the way in the back to try to pop a bad balloon that being said, this is a very important part of our strategy. We cannot just think about rounds 10, or round 15, or round 20. We have to think about the last round of the game, because if we get to the last round and we lose, that is probably the worst thing that can happen to us. Losing to the bad balloon. Very unfortunate. All right, now that we've got this going, we can start to think about what else we want to do. And I think the best plan of action for us is to keep this engineer as close to the bottom over here as we possibly can, because uh, I want to try to make this my top path engineer. And I want him to be my Moab popper. So let's get some sentry guns, let's get some faster engineering. And uh, even if this guy is not necessarily the most accurate nail popper, he will be the most accurate uh, fifth tier engineer, the sentry champion. And uh, keeping these engineers, again, as low as possible is probably important. That being said, we definitely don't want to go for the larger surface area yet, but we probably will still have to do that later on to get the extra MOA popping power. So these are all things that we have to think about here, which are all just kind of unfortunate and sad things to think about. Um, we may even be able to make some sort of weird wall of engineers here to try to keep the sentries, like, close by, but I don't know if that's even going to be possible with the amount of money that we're going to be making in this game. So, either which way, we are officially started. This is an official chimps game, uh, besides the fact that we have continues allowed. All right, actual legit. I like to mention that because sometimes we do have to start off with extra money or do weird things to make this remotely possible. And that is not where we're at just yet. Another nice thing about Sada is that she does have cam detection for us. So automatic cam detection means she can pop around 24, around 33, and probably around 37 if we use our ability here. She might even be able to pop around 42 if we use our ability as well. So as far as cam detection is concerned, we really don't need to worry about it for a while, but she does not have good lead popping power. So we're gonna have to go for our sentry expert here kind of early on. Uh, and this is ideally going to be our total in the easy lead popping power. Uh, sometimes it makes mistakes, but I think we can manage here. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take it down. Beautiful. All right, so what's the plan of action? Uh, we've got three fifth tier towers here. We've got the center champion, we've got the ultra boost, and we've got the extra, extra large trap. Extra, extra large trap's only 51k. Got a big buff in the last update with a price decrease. Uh, Ultra Boost is 80,000, which is just not going to happen. Just going to be straight with you on Chimps. It's not going to happen. And Central Champion, a very affordable 35,000. So uh, that leaves us with 250 Travers that we are going to earn this game. We need an extra, extra large trap, and we need a Sentry Champion to win this game. Those are just the facts of life. So what is the order? Honestly, if we could get an extra, extra large trap, that would be absolutely delicious and wonderful, but I don't think it's going to be possible. So instead, unfortunately, we have to save up for a center champion while spending the least amount of money possible uh, on other towers to get me there. 
So I think our best plan of action is to go for a couple random, like I was telling you guys, a couple random engineers. Uh, kind of kind of something like this. Even though this might seem like a bit of a waste of money right now, it may end up working for us long term here. And we're going to get like, yeah, we're going to get like five of them right here. And we're going to make a, uh, we're going to make a really weird sprockets deconstruction combo. All right, this is a pretty significant amount of money, but it will help out against the Moeb, and it'll also help us out against, against late-game Moebs. It's just worth it. We're going to have to spend this money anyways. Why not be efficient with it instead of buying a bunch of random towers that we're not going to be using uh, any which way? And I feel good. I actually feel like this is the right popper for us. We've got our uh, sentries mostly in this little circle right here. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's make sure he's a deconstructioner. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we gave him extra range. That's not good. I might have to build more engineers. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to build more engineers, which are very unfortunate and not the way I want to do it, but it just it has to be done. It's just, I, I just need, to, need it to be done. All right, more engineers. Let's see where we're at now. Round 40, the Moab. All right, so we melt through that thing. The Oh, yeah. This is good Moab popping power. That's what you like to see. Usually that's the engineer's weakness. All right, cam detection. We're still in a tricky zone. All right, this is not exactly amazing. Why is he throwing the ice towers all the way out here, dude? What is wrong with you? Throw them in the tight little corridor right next to you. This is the unfortunate part about longer range. The worst upgrade in the game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we get them all? Yes. The worst upgrade in the game, if you ask me. All right. We need more uh, 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 camera protection. So let, let's get it. Right in the very front of the map. We're going to go for one quick cleansing film. If we need to get an overclock here, this is probably going to be our overclock. I may need to go for more cleansing films later on, but for right now, this is what I want to leave them on. But I will go for the oversized nails and pin, just because why not? Um, and here we go. Let's see if this is enough uh, camera detection with with Sada here as a combo. I'll leave the uh, foam a little bit further on the map so we can start popping some things. And life is pretty good. Now here's the next thing: Central Champion, thirty-five thousand dollars. Can we get enough money to make that happen? Uh, maybe. As far as popping power goes, check this out: round forty-nine. Uh, one of the beefiest balloon rounds in the game. Ooh! <laughs> Sada saves the day, but clearly still not quite enough popping power. I don't know. I mean, as far as the 50s go, the balloons don't get that much juicier than that. Round 55 is kind of close, but they're a little more uh, grouped, and the ice towers and the, the canning sentries might actually do it. Oh my gosh. Might actually help us out here. Ugh. 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 Oh, go, 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 go. I could have saved it, but it wasn't worth it. Instead, I'm going to go for, unfortunately, more of these guys. Sprockets with deconstruction. That's what I want. I want sprockets with deconstruction, and I want all of my sentries to honestly be right here. That would be the perfect situation. The perfectest of perfect situations. But honestly, up here, it's not bad either. As long as they're hitting something, I'm, I'm okay with it. All right, and as we need it, that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy more of these Sprockets Deconstruction Engineers. Again, what seems like the stupidest idea imaginable, but just trust me, guys. It is the best idea imaginable once we get to late game. Right now, it's still kind of sketch. <laughs> All right, I'll admit sketch when I when I see it, uh, but later on, it will be efficient, I promise you. Even round 55 goes down with this combo. Uh, I'm actually a little a little surprised, and soon Sada will have her uh, level 10 ability here, which means if we have any major issues, I can use that. Oh, oh yeah, the bleed! I love your little tomato swords or tomato chains or slicing chains of tomato juice, whatever they are. Red blood, red gooeyness coming out of your soul right here. I love it, Sada. I love it. Uh oh, round 60. We got a BFB here with Sada's jump. Uh, that was pretty good. Question is, do I? Risk it. I will not be risking that. I I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna just do it like this. Alright, this is this is this is just a little easier. I'll keep our second ability here so if we need to, we can use that guy, because we were very, very close to Central Champion. If I can use just one ability here to save the day, keep us in the game. Um uh, uh it's so close, but no, it will not be enough. Darn. The unfortunate thing about all of this is that I am so close. So, 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 so close to Center Champion. But if I spend a little more money, I will not be so, so close. I will be very unfortunately unclose to our Century Champion. And I need it for round 63. Need it for round 63. Otherwise, I will for sure lose this game. All right. This time around, putting her on strong is working a little bit better. And, 
Uh, I gotta waste my ability here for 61. And now I have to hope that 62, I do not need anything extra. But I will have this sword charge soon. This is so close. I know this is crazy. But it's still kind of working. And Century Champion. A uh, few hundred dollars still. It's close, it's close, it's close. Oh, there we go. We get it last second here, but that's actually not that good. Because I actually need Sentry Champs to be on the board. So we're going to have to use Sada's first ability here on the first rush. Get enough of these guys to sell one, I think. If I can even click on it properly. For the second bout of this rush here. And hopefully this just insta-kills a lot of the ceramics as they're coming out. Let's see. Let's go. Boom. Get rid of that thing. And that's going to be enough to get through the second rush. And for the third rush here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to sell one of these guys and we're going to use Sato's other ability. And that should be enough to get us through round 63. Um, this is kind of an advanced technique, but you have the ability to sell these guys if you want to. In addition to letting them just explode on their own. Alright, uh... Uh, if they explode on their own, they do the exact same amount of damage, but at least I can do a controlled burst exactly when I want it. Make sure I'm doing the optimal damage against these uh, 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 ceramics, specifically if they have not exploded yet. So I know that's really, really weird, but it is working exactly how I want it to. We got all these guys right next to us here, um, allowing us to explode all over the balloons, all of the mobs, and everything. Okay, next step. As we need it, we will buy more and more Sprockets Engineers. Same exact thing as this. Sprockets with deconstruction. I'll put them on strong here to make sure that they are hitting the Moabs. And then my goal is to ideally get an extra, extra large trap. All the way in the bottom down here. Uh, by the way, I just want to note this really quickly. That our only cam detection is still Sada with one ball of white foam. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. And it's working! And it's working! I, without even meaning to, like, micro and do crazy abilities and stuff like that. Like, our cam detection's pretty solid overall. I don't know how long it's gonna last for, but so far, it's pretty solid. Alright, guys, this is where it gets intense. We are about to have a base race. The question is, will the balloons get so big that I cannot handle them before I have the ability to get $51,000? That's still another $37,000 away to get my extra, extra large trap. Extra, extra, extra large trap. Excuse me. I'm so, so sorry for the, the extra people out there. Um, and... I didn't even buy any of the other upgrades because it might be that tight. It could be that tight that we just barely get him by the uh, the hair on our skinny skin skin, okay? Or the tooth on our facey face face, or whatever, just by the, the something of our something. Um, as far as popping power goes, I, it was still pretty good. I mean, this is round 75. This is, oh crap, oh crap. This is a pretty beefy, beefy round. Yeah, we did not do good. We did not do good. That that scares me quite a bit, because Balloon Trap can only suck up so many balloons. Sada can only pop so many. Oh, no. Round 75! Already going to be our killer? What the heck? I kind of did not expect that, to be completely honest. All right. Uh, balloon Trap here. Slurp, slurp up some balloons. Slurp up some balloons. That's good. Now we get our two... I really got to save this other ability here for round 76, though, I think. So here we go. Oh, we get a nice explosion. And we get to use this ability for 76. Nice! So, another thing we could have done here is just, if you ever run into any issues, don't feel bad about selling one of these guys. Um, you, you you do lose that popping power for that smidge of amount of a time, but if you only need it for a big burst of popping power and you don't need to worry about something for a little while, that is the optimal way to use it. I know we're talking about optimal right now, but, like, dude, this is going to be a close battle all the way through. There's not going to be an easy round in the 80s. There's not going to be an easy round in the 90s. They're all going to be battles uphill the entire time. Oh, crap. All right, let's just use Sada's ability. I think we're going to get it back in time before the Camo Bloons hit for uh, this second Ceramic Rush. Uh, don't forget that I did kind of waste, like, I don't want to call it waste, but I had to use, utilize a lot of engineer money here to uh, make sure that all these guys are going to be close to our, our center death point, basically. And we're halfway there to extract large crap. That's nice. All right, we're just going to use this ability here. Wipe them out. That feels good, man. Um, but don't forget that this ability, even though it's fantastic up until around 80, it does not do a great job 80 plus. It cannot kill super ceramics in one swoop every time, and it cannot kill reinforced super ceramics almost at all. It's almost garbage against those things. And that's where we might need to surprisingly build more random defense in the back or something like that, and that's something I just don't really want to think about right now, to be completely honest. I just, like, imagining wasting all my money in the backpack here is just blah. One other thing we can do, and this is this is a way to play the game, is if it really comes down to it, overclock. 
It's fifteen thousand dollars. It puts us in a bad spot. To be completely honest. Oh boy. Okay, this is what we're to do. Sometimes it's best to lose on purpose. Well, it'd be better if we just won on purpose. But sometimes it's best to not waste your abilities. All right. If I use both of my abilities here. Uh, I could set myself up for failure on Route 81 and just lose the game. But at least this way, I saved one of my abilities. Okay, I have the ability. And I'll just jump on some of the blooms right here. And if it really came down to it, that could save our skin. Again, all this stuff. Ooh, we're only 10,000 miles away. This is pretty sweet. And I think we're going to get this ability back again and have to use it now, maybe. Yeah, we're just going to use it. I don't think the first ability is going to be enough. So we're going to have to go like that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And we did have to use it, but... Oh, crap, that put us in a bad place. Oh, crap. That definitely put us in a bad place. Um, we have to, again, hope that we get this ability back in time. And both abilities. Actually, let's just use this early. We got some reinforced BFBs coming in right now. So let's just jump on them. Uh, do some damage to them. We got reinforced blooms. It's going to explode at the perfect time here to get rid of a lot of these super ceramics. And we got more BFBs coming in. But again, we get a perfect explosion. Oh, this is nice, dude. Oh, this is epic. I cannot believe we took down those reinforced BFBs right there. That was beautiful to watch. Uh, I feel like it was a little bit of luck, not gonna lie, but really 5,000 miles away from our uh, big blue tower here, our extra, extra large trap. Alright, uh, pretty tough round for us, let's do one quick saw to jump. Um, it melts through blooms, it melts through blooms, man. She's only got 67,000 pops, compared to our 300,000 century champion. Oh baby, I think we're gonna make this happen, and I think, I'll be straight with you guys, I honestly believe that it's partially due to our random stupid engineer army here doing this weird push the sentries forward action. Oh, check it out. Extra, extra large trap has just been achieved. All right, we're going to let him slurp up these blooms in the back back here for a little bit. And I'm going to move him to the front, I think. But you can see how absolutely close this was. I mean, I probably could have bought these two middle towers. But if I bought a couple more of these random engineers, we'd be in a really, really bad position. All right, so now that we're on round 85, we're going to go larger service area. We're going to go deconstruction. And now we can move this guy. And we can move him. Please tell me we can move him. We can! We can move him to the front. Woo! So this is, I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to say perfect because it's not. Ideally, this guy's actually in the very, very front of the map. He slurps up the balloons and then this guy does the cleanup, right? Right, right now, that's not what's happening. He is doing a bunch of damage that we just waste on our extra, extra large trap slurping things up, which is kind of unfortunate. But at least we have the ability now to possibly take down the bad balloon here um, by moving this thing all the way to the back back here when we need it. All right. Of course, when we need it. And uh, the best position for it is as close as we can get it to the front of the map here. The faster we can slurp up loons, the better off we are. And also making sure that everybody is on first and not on strong. Um, I... I'm thinking that we might need to worry about uh, ceramics later on, so I might end up building a bit of a sentry army over here. But for right now, this is the way it's got to be. And I think overclocking our towers is probably the best thing for us. Uh, probably switching back between... Oh, 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 Switching back between uh, Extra Extra Large Trap and uh, uh, Central Champion is probably the best situation to put ourselves in. All right, overclock. It's going to take us a few seconds to build up over here. Um, so far, we have not needed a ton of micro, though. It's actually just been kind of working, sort of magically. Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's, let's, let's overclock this bad boy. Let's jump on these guys. And let's just see if we can get some slurping action going. All right, camo detection. I actually may have made a mistake. And I really, really hope that this doesn't bite us in the butt. Oh, it doesn't bite us in the butt. All right, I had almost no money to buy another uh, cleansing foam here. But still, this one cleansing foam soda combo has been decamoizing literally everything. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, so we're going to use soda here again to clean up all these blooms. And I think she's powerful enough now. Sword charge, greatly increased damage. That's nice. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No! All right. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're just going to need a micro, I think. Micro better than what we just did. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 straight up, it's one of those things where it's so weird, I don't even really know what to do. Just as soon as this guy gets overwhelmed, we're going to throw down one more trap, maybe, and then we're going to move him to the back. Uh, too slow. Too slow. All right, so we only can do one trap here before we got to move him to the back. Dang. Okay. That's fine. There's nothing really, really, really wrong with that. And we don't even need to wait for the full trap to happen, I guess. Let's do it. Okay, move him to the back. Move him back. Do I even need it to go all the way to the very, very back here? I I, I don't know. 
Let's let's overclock this. That doesn't actually truly help us here. I think we lose again. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. We are in a bad, bad pickle here, my friends. We've got like no money. Our current defense is not enough to take down the Bloods. Uh, this guy is honestly not positioned. Fantastic. It would be honestly nice if he was in the very back. Like if I could move him to the back, that would be awesome. But I don't have that uh, available to me here. I almost wish that I did put my engineer here and I could get this trap just a little bit closer to the front. And then maybe even move this guy just a smidge over here and do the same thing with the engineers and use the water as a blocker. Ooh, if we have to do this again, that's going to be the way it has to be. All right, let's try moving this guy right here. Uh, we're going to let him slurp up some blue. Ooh, can I get a double dip in here? Can I get a double dip in? All right. Oh, and we get another go round. I think that's enough here for round 91, but that does not bode well for continuing on. Not at all. All right, extra explode trap to the front. All right, we got $6,800 here. Like I told you guys, I think I'm mostly worried about the ceramics here. So this is kind of a goofy position to put ourselves in, but I think I'm going to probably end up going for a couple century experts right here just to slow ceramics down just to keep them on the screen for a little bit allowing our extra large trap more time to do things because right now it's the the random ceramics taking through so let's try it let's try it this this could be a, a a bad option but i i feel like i have to try and with this combo we want to go for the oversized nails and pin because we don't care about the mode popping power at all at all all right and let's see if this guy's gonna be enough to stall uh and pop some ceramics all right so far extra extra large trap doing its job once we get to Zimmergirds, they obviously don't last very long. Uh, yes, this is kind of a problem still. And he's not shooting out the right turrets. He's shooting out the yellow turrets rather than the ice turrets. It's not something that I want. What can I do here? Can I do another balloon trap? Do I want to just throw a balloon trap down and slurp up some ceramics? I don't really like the idea, to be honest. I think it's not gonna help us out long term. All right, let's try let's try that sentry expert again. And uh, let's try putting this a little bit further back. And maybe we won't suck up the zone my god so quickly to get rid of the Moabs first. Maybe I don't, I don't know for sure that's gonna work. All right, the zone my gods are gonna eventually overwhelm us here, obviously. All right, we're gonna move the trap to the back here. Trap in the back. We can move the trap back to the front, though. And we can slurp up some of these Zermagurds. Move them back down to the bottom. Oh, and he's too slow! But that's what we need to do. Gotta admit, this is a pretty legit trap spot. Uh, I really, really like this a lot. It can do ridiculous things. Alright. Oh, grab, grab, grab ceramics! 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 I actually hate ceramics. My problem right now is that these are actually popping. The Moab class balloons, but I actually don't want them to get popped. I want this guy to slowly over time just be able to pop them. But we're popping them into ceramics, and I have nothing, as far as engineers are concerned, to pop ceramics. Nothing here is good against ceramics for a little bit of money. Sentry Expert technically should be good, but he's not throwing down the right sentries. He's throwing down uh, yellow sentries, which is not what I want to see. Let's try a completely different strategy. Let's overclock somebody else. Let's see if we can just kind of brute force with this guy and maybe still get lucky with our extra large trap kind of later on. All right, let's move it, move it to the back just a little bit further. Let's actually move it all the way to the back right now. And he's too slow. He's too slow, but Sauda saves the day this time around for now. And we're going to move it again. <laughs> Dang, that's kind of ridiculous. We have literally zero dollars after buying a blue trap. It's like the game has decided that this is the best strategy for us. Get a blue trap, Chris. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna try for a balloon trap. Uh, I'm still gonna overclock the extra extra large trap. I think that's the best thing for us. The more traps he throws down, the better. Uh, uh, we're just hoping that this is gonna be enough ceramics stallage, basically. All right. Uh, how many ceramics did he slurp up? Not enough. Kind of. Uh, it's kind of weird here. Let's just throw him in the back. Let's let it slowly happen, I guess. Which could be the wrong decision. Oh, crap. Moabs. Don't pop them. Don't pop them. Don't pop them. Don't pop them. No! Why would you pop them? I'm really upset that we're stuck at round 92. 
this is a a seemingly uh, what should not be a, a difficult round, round 92. But right now it is. Dang. All right, let's try that trap again. It did save us a little bit of problems, but against Super Ceramics, it is not. It is not optimal. It is just sort of there doing something. All right, once we slurp up some uh, Zoma Gods here, we got to move it to the back. Move it to the back, back here. I kind of like throw it on uh, on both, both sides here. And we're going to have to move it again a little bit further down. And I screwed up. I screwed up. All right, let's have, let's let it happen slow. I don't, I don't think I should be having, having it happen slow. All right, move it to the back. 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 We got some ceramics getting slurped up. Move it to the back. Slurp them up. All right, this needs to slurp up all these Moabs. It's got to slurp them up. Oh, it didn't slurp them up. Darn! Completely different strategy. It's kind of working, actually. It's kind of unbelievably working. Holy crap, I think it just worked. We just went for a bunch of sprockety constructioners, and round 92 goes down easily. Dang, do I want to keep doing that strategy? I think I do. More sprocket deconstructions, because that is going to help our weaknesses, basically. We just popped DDTs. Delicious. All right. Uh, uh, let's use Sada's ability here. Sada still is going to level up a little bit here, but she's probably just about at her max level. I think she's going to reach probably level 17, and that's it. All right, let's reposition this guy just to make sure we uh, uh, reset the trap, basically. And I still think... That our best strategy it might be to build more sprocket sprocket deconstructors, but it does not need to be right here. It could be somewhere else. It's just that the engineers are already built here for this. So it's kind of nice that we're getting a lot of uh, uh, sentries built right here. Um, I think I got to move this guy to the back bag here. We got to jump on this crap. And yeah, we are going to get overwhelmed again. So clearly the ceramics are the issue. I just don't know how to deal with them properly. I just don't, like, at all. Okay, guys, I resign. I screwed up. Uh, we used our overclock on this guy to help uh, beat round 93, and now I have too many sentries, uh, and they're popping up the bloom so quickly that I don't have any ceramic slowdown over here, and when I try to build anything else that's like going to pop ceramics for me, it just doesn't work out. I tried it about 20, maybe even 30 times by this point, and I'm still just like lost on what the heck I could possibly do to beat this thing. Uh, so I am going to have to give up and I'm going to have to retry, but I'm going to still try one more time without giving me anything else. I just need to get back to this round and I need to try to reposition things a little bit. All right, this is one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my entire life, but I am going to try it because I have unfortunately not saved up the right amount of money for an extra extra large trap here. So I've done it a couple different ways where I've tried to pop one of the Zone My Gods and it doesn't give me quite enough money. And I need to pop basically first Zone My God and like 90% of the second Zone My God to get enough money to get an extra large trap. There's one time where I saw the green here, but it's not enough time for me to buy it and for the extra large trap to actually pop out. So instead, we are stuck with something a little different. We must try to just survive another round or two and eventually get extra large trap on another round. But to make that happen, this is the absurdity of what we need to do. Without spending $15,000 on like an overclock or something like that, we need to try to do some crazy action with these guys. Which means we need to pop the first Oh My God by waiting at the last second here and selling some of these guys to get them going, but not too many. And then we still need to pop the first Oh My God, wait for this to happen a second time, and use all of our abilities again. It's basically impossible, but is it? This is like my 15th try. We'll, we'll, we'll see how, how far it takes me. I did it with the overclock, but that does put us back a lot of, of money here. Another uh, $13,000. We need it before round 90 because this guy for sure cannot pop them. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I think we lose. Four is on my gods. We couldn't handle two. How are we supposed to handle four, man? I just don't get it. Oh, hot diggity dog. All right, let me turn this up sound back on. I think we may have done it. After ridiculous amounts of ridiculousness, it may have been done. We need only $2,000 to get extra extra large trap. It is going to happen on round 84 if we can make it happen. Um, if is being the, the strong operative word here. We're going to go boom. We're going to go uh, shizzle zap. We got extra extra large trap. It is officially up. Oh! We got the deconstruction. Oh my gosh, it's time to beat things. Maybe 
Maybe. I mean, there's there's no guarantees here at all. But let me tell you guys, this was a pain in the butt to happen. Uh, every single round was just a disaster. Round 81 was a disaster. 82 was a disaster. 83 was a disaster. We had to do lots of selling and, and, and things to make it all happen. And I'm so glad that we were able to get the extra, extra large trap here and survive with a ridiculous Sentry Champion over here. And we had to use all of our engineers again to block to make the Sentry Champion uh, kind of all over in this area. All right. It's still not over. Obviously, we've got a long way to go. But I feel a lot more comfortable about my extra, extra large trap over here, and I hope that this guy can just clean up any random bleeds that we're sneaking through. In addition, we can decide what we want to do with our extra money right now. Um, I'm thinking, of course, we try for our overclock. It's really, 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 really nice to get extra, extra large trap with overclock because it just shoots out twice as fast, destroying all the big blooms in the way. Um, and then if we really, really need to, again, we can move over to this guy. But I'll admit, I'm still afraid of one round. One round in particular is scaring the crap out of me. Scaring the Bajee. Oh, no. Whoop. Wait, wait. Oh, the extra, extra large trap slucked up the DDT from there. Slucked up. Slucked it right up. Uh, I'm afraid of the bad. Uh, you know, if there's going to be something that kills us, it's going to be the bad. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. If we lose the bad balloon, I am not going to try again. I am done so. Uh, I, I still think that it might be possible. But, like, dude, the disaster of the ridiculousness that you'd have to pull off to make this happen is just kind of absurd. Oh, crap. All right. Somehow we move, 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 move. Oh, I'm too slow. I suck. Okay, we unsucked it. Uh, run round 92, which... Did we did we beat round 92 last time? Or is this the round we lost on? I think this was the round that we got really, 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 really close. Uh, like a billion times. And we eventually beat it, but then we just straight up lost round 93, right? Or round 94. I don't even remember where we got. I just remember it was bad. All right, so here we go. We got the overclock now. Um, you can see the big difference in total ease of levels at this point with uh, the right positioning and everything, at least for now. All right, DDTs. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Get to the bottom, get to the bottom, get to the bottom. They are decamoized. Yep, we survive. Moving back to the top here. And uh, we've got $9,000 to work with this time around. That's the big difference. Last time around, we had like $1,000 to work with. All right, let's overclock him again. See if we can just slurp up most of the balloons. We don't even need to pop every single one. Just most of them. We can always re-micro things if we want to. Ooh, there's going to be a lot here. All right, all right. There we go. Oh, no. All right, so we're still having kind of a ceramic issue at this point. But there's still not an easy answer to that. I'm going to try again with just an extra, extra large trap. Uh, overclock this time around. We're going to see if maybe we can get a little luckier. Um, maybe we can leak like a few of these guys a little. Oh, dang. These things are still really strong. That's not good. All right. Well, slurp them up, slurp them up. Move it down, move it down, move it down. We got ceramics, ceramics. Oh, I hate that the extra, extra large trap takes like a second to get put down. It doesn't seem like it should matter, but it does. All right, we're going to put them all the way in the front this time around. Um, I, I know that this round is possible. It's still just, can we micro properly and everything? Uh, and I still, again, $14,000 to mess around with if I need to. So, All right, we're going to move down to the bottom for a quick second here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not want to use that that early, but you know what? It is what it is. We just got ceramics to slurp up. Okay, and we're just going to reposition it to uh, get the uh, full thingamajig over here, and that should easily take down the oh my god, I, I believe. It could definitely take down regular full oh my gods, but can it take down actually all the balloons on the inside? Yes, it can. All right, so we're up to round 95. we got $17,000 here, so if we need to go for more uh, cam detection, we can, or decamoization. Uh, it definitely will require some micro here. The unfortunate thing is I have no idea uh, if we should be building any other different towers at this point, or if this is just the best thing to go for. All right, so that is a bit of a problem. Um, so that is a, b a bit of a problem. What the heck do we do against CDTs? All right, let's try a different strategy. Let's try just going for a quick century champion with deconstruction overclock this time around. We'll still put this guy up in the front. Um, realistically, the problem is, is you just want to suck up DDTs with this thing, but it's also sucking up all the mobs because it's obviously needing to suck something up. So... Uh, uh, we're just going to leave it here for a second, let it suck up as many as it can, and hopefully now these guys can just deal with the few DDTs sneaking through. Uh, kind of, but not really. That did not work. Okay, we're just going to go straight for one trap up here, moving straight to one trap in the back, and hopefully this guy will deal with most of the Moabs, and the DDTs will uh, uh, just sort of die eventually. Maybe, sort of, a little bit. All right, one trap up here. Move the trap to the b -b -b back. 
and it's got to go pretty quick here. It does go pretty quick, but how many DDTs can it suck up, man? And not that many. That is too many. All right, let's clean up some of these balloons with this thing, but that's still going to be too many balloons, and a lot of them are going to sneak through. So clearly, we cannot just do one. So we're going to try a different overclock again. We're going to try this overclock. We're going to try to do a very similar thing, but move him down here for the second round and see if that's going to work. Uh, and I got $17,000, so if we need to, we'll spend that money. Uh, there's really not that much you can do about it, but there are a few things that you can do about it. All right, let's use Sawdust Jump. Let's move this guy down to the bottom again. And I will use the Sword Charge fairly early again. Uh, the Overclock is kind of working here. It's cleaning up a lot more of the balloons. But will it be enough? And I don't think it's going to be. It's not going to be enough. There's like five DTs that are still sticking through. All right, our first plan of action is to overclock the extra large trap, and I build a bunch of sprocket engineers. All right, let's see if this is going to be enough for round 95. Uh, we're going to try to leave him up here again. I will jump on the balloons right away. Let him just re-throw the trap up there, and hopefully we take these things down this time. Um, it's obviously painful. Ooh, dang. So I am noticing the extra large trap over here is still sucking up the DDTs, which is kind of weird. I, I don't want to say that's helpful. It's just unique. Weird. Uh, and unfortunately, it didn't really work. We're going to try a double century expert play this time around with uh, more of those sprockets, but it does suck that I have to rebuild these things every single time we have to fight them. Alright, let's go for another uh, Sauda jump. Let's leave it over here and hope that this guy can do some work over time. Alright, it did not get sucked up this time around. I felt like it was higher up. All right, I'm going to have to work on this for a little bit because this is just dangerously terrible. All right, I got a new strategy. Double overclock. All right, it's not set in stone that we're going to win this one, but I have a strong feeling that this is going to be the answer for us. We're going to overclock both of these guys. Um, we're going to move him up here still. I think I got to grab two or three sets of them. You saw his abilities to, to, to do this, and then we can jump him to the back like before. So we waited a little bit here before we ended up using our overclock. We uh, built this one up, though. That's the big difference. We're going to grab at least one set. I think we're going to have to do at least one more set. All right, let's use both of our abilities. And then, ooh, yeah, if we could jump it back after that, we might be good. All right, we got the trap in the back. We got two traps on the front this time. That's that's the question. Is that going to be enough uh, uh, total defense here? And I, I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Let's reposition him. And we manage it. Woo! 95 is taken down. We got $6,000 left over. And I'm still feeling pretty comfy here. I feel like... Uh, having the ability to overclock two different high-class engineers is probably our best option. Um, and the question is, what do we do with our, our other money at this point? Wait it out. You don't need to spend it. Wait until you run into an issue, and then spend it on what exactly you need to survive. But right now, this is going good, dude. I think even round 98 is not going to be that major of an issue for us. All right. I am uh, possibly overusing my overclocks, which I'm a little upset about, but... It is what it is. Slurp up all these BFBs. Okay, okay. I said down to you it was not going to be an issue. Clearly it is still going to be an issue. Um. Alright. Uh. I don't know exactly what to do here. I could try to suck up just the Oh My Gods maybe. Or whatever. But the problem is as soon as these BFBs get in the way here. That, that's an issue. Um. As soon as we get to the ceramics, that's that's our real problem here. So, oh, we let one balloon sneak through. All right, this feels really, really, really weird, but it's kind of working for now. The oh my gods are kind of tanking it, which is actually kind of a good thing. Uh, yes, remove remove the trap one last time. Regular Moabs and BFBs. Can we pull it off? Uh oh, move it back down, 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 down. Oh, I overclocked the wrong tower. Uh oh. I feel like I almost have to restart. Oh, I could have done it. Question is, can we beat round 99 without the correct overclock? Because I overclocked this guy twice. I don't think I can. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. So I'll have to restart it. All right, last bits of Moabs here. Throw it out, throw it out. No, come on. I thought I had it. So the key is to try to get one of these BFBs or two of these BFBs to exist in the front. That way we could use Sada's first ability to kind of like insta-kill a lot of this stuff. And then we don't even want to kill the Zoma Gods or care about the Zoma Gods that much. We actually want to get rid of a lot of the BFBs over here. If we use our abilities properly with Sada, we can survive a little bit longer. 
but not that much longer. And then the question is, can we get the extra electric trap in time to make this all happen? It's a very, very, very tricky thing, and this is about my 20-something try, but I think we can still do it. It's just going to take some time and some management and some ridiculousness to make it all happen. Wow, okay, we're down to the last oh my god here, so as long as we can kill this oh my god, we are totally good. Um, and I, I think with a brand new extra large trap, I don't see why not. There we go, round 98 is beaten, and we have uh, both overclocks ready to go here, as ridiculous as that is. So we're going to use them both, I think. I think we're going to need them. Uh, unfortunately, we got to move this guy to the back. Oh, somehow that was sucking up DDTs. I have no idea how, but it's sucking up DDTs down here, I think. It's almost like a glitch, I, I think. Uh, all right, let's give it another shot. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. I think we just got to do one shot, I guess. Okay, that did not work, and I think I overclocked the wrong thing, too. So, this is again gonna be like one of those lucky, micro-y kind of things, but, uh, let's try moving it down here and see if we can just suck up DDTs, but not Moebs? Or something? Now let's overclock him again. Dang. It's just too many balloons, just in general. It's ridiculous. Alright, we get one suck up, and then that's it. And then we gotta hope that we can kill nine DDTs with, uh, a single trap, basically. Is that possible? I don't know. Let's just see what happens first. One trap, nine DDTs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and balloons afterwards with Sauna's jump. Oh, so it's close. It's really close. I think that might be manageable. If we can sell some of these guys, uh, if we can suck up nine DDTs, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's, it's just gotta happen eventually is the main thing. Uh, so here we go. One trap in the front, one trap in the back-ish. And now it's about using other abilities here to, like, help alleviate the issue. So we're going to use uh, some of these guys to actually get rid of some of the ceramics here in the back. Even though this is not going to help us out against the bad balloon, it should get us enough pops that we do survive. And we are against the bad balloon with $30,000 ready to spend. Now, first of all, let's just see what happens. With $30,000 left over, what's going to happen here? Overclock just wore off on this guy. We can use this. We can use this. Um, it won't help out that much, but it'll help out a little bit. We can overclock this puppy. And it's really up to him to do most of the damage here. I mean, he's got to do about 20,000 damage, otherwise we're, we're basically screwed. Uh, and we damage the bad probably about halfway. That's about it. And that means that extra, extra Extra Large Trap does nothing here. Literally nothing. So can we spend $30,000 in Engineers to somehow manage to kill a bat? So this is what we've got. I, I just know for a fact that this is the best popper for Moab class balloons. I, don't, I can't think of anything else that would be better or more efficient for the amount of money spent. And you're noticing that each one of these guys is getting us about 350 pops, 300 pops or so. Um, that's not, honestly, a, a big difference. And I think that this is still going to be a fail. And I think it's actually just physically impossible for engineers alone to beat a bad balloon on a map like this. Even if you're perfect and efficient with every single dollar you spent. Like, like, I know you have to get extra large drive. You have to get this guy. But even if you're perfect with positioning with everything else, could you possibly pop a bad balloon? And I, I just don't know. I don't think you can. And that's why I'm going to say I, it's a fail, but it's not really my fault that it's a fail. It's just a fail. I mean, there are other heroes that might have been able to make it happen, but you can't do that start. And you can't actually beat the rounds with it. So there it is. Bad Balloon just walked through with like half of his health. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We got so close, but it is yet so far. I'm going to try one more time with a different engineer just to kind of see what happens. And I, I'm pretty confident about my engineer choice, but you know what? Sometimes people just need to see it to prove it to them. And we're getting like less than 100 pops with a double gun faster engineering. Like, it's not even close. Uh... I mean, I maybe can overclock this guy a little bit quicker. Uh, double overclocking is going to do anything. But I mean, he's only getting like 6,000 pops total on a, on a, on a, a 25,000 pop necessity here. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's an unfortunate way to end the game. But it is the way we end the game, my friends. An official Chips Plus Plus loss. If you guys enjoyed, press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.